In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to log into the blog and also how to create your first post. So with EDU blogs, you should have created a username and a password. I'm going to go ahead and type mine in and log in. It will redirect you, hopefully within five seconds, to the next page, which will be your dashboard. It will show you all the images, everything that you've posted. Um, yours should look something like this, where you'll see my sites, and then you'll have just yours listed. You're going to go to New Post. And when you go to New Post, it'll look something like this. It'll have a place for you to enter your title. So I'm going to put Photography Portrait Miss Nolan. And I'm going to go back down here. So this is where I would be able to put the body of my post, as well as any media, which would be any images that I've taken. So right now, I've already uploaded this to, um, to the drive, but I can always click Upload and select those files that I had saved previously to the desktop. I've already uploaded mine to my media library, so once I've done that, I just click Insert into Post. It's as simple as that. It'll be here. So I can take this and I can drag it if I wanted to make this a little bit bigger or if I just want to keep it as is. If I click the, the shift button and make it larger, it'll keep the same dimensions, which means it won't stretch it out and make it look weird. So right after this, I'm going to hit enter. I'll give myself a couple of spaces and then I would type something about the image. Give us some history. And details. So something here. Then you'll see there's a green button in the upper right hand corners, corner, excuse me. Yours will say not publish, it will say submit draft. So you'll click submit draft and then it would send it to me for your approval. Uh, eventually it will just publish for you and then when you go to visit the site, here we are. So photography portraits, there's my title, there's the image, and then whatever you'd had, you had written. That way everyone can see your work, they can comment on it, and it'll be a great way for you to share what you've been doing. 